Good evening, baseball fans. You are tuning into Pirates Baseball here at WZKY as we are here at Bush Stadium inside the Pirates broadcast booth, powered by Hickman Pitching School. Hickman is the name, mechanics is the game. And today's matchup is between our hometown Pittsburgh Pirates, who are 15 and 9 in the season on top of the NL Central. And they are here at Bush Stadium visiting the St. Louis Cardinals, who are sitting at a 13 and 11 on the season. And today's lineup is as follows for the Buccos. Leading things off in left field is Sterling Marte. Batting second, also playing second, is Neil Walker. In the three-hole, Andrew McCutcheon. Including things up will be Pedro Alvarez. The fifth hitter is Ike Davis. In the sixth hole is the catcher, Russell Martin. Followed by Eduardo Nunez, Franklin Gutierrez. And rounding things out is the pitcher, Essen Volquez. And on the mound for the Cardinals will be the right-hander from Brownsburg, Indiana, Lance Lynn, who is 0-3 in the season with a... Colossal 10.06 ERA in four games started. He has not had the greatest of starts this season, but he's looking to rebound here against the Buccos in the first game of a three-game set here at Bush Stadium. And digging in now for the Buccos to lead things off. Batting 207 with six stolen bases on the season, just barely hitting over the Mendoza line as Starling Marte, the left fielder. Count runs 0-1 on Marte. Here's the kick. And the pitch from Lance Lynn. That's going to be given a ride into center field. And Oscar Tavares is there. He overran it a bit. But he was able to reach back as he puts it away for the first out of the first in the first out of the ball game. That's going to bring up the second baseman, Neil the Real Deal Walker. Lance Lynn getting ready to throw the first pitch of the at-bat. Here it comes. And that's going to be skied into right field. That's a shallow fly ball. And John Jay is going to camp into that one. And he puts it away for the second out of the top of the first inning. As Neil Walker's retired, and that brings up the center fielder, Andrew McCutcheon, who's hitting 348 on the season, which is good enough to put him in third in the entire National League, as he's been a key part of this Buccos team here so far in this 2014 campaign. 1 2 count now on McCutcheon with two outs in the inning. Lance Lynn gets set. The kick and the pitch is swung through the high fastball, 94 miles per hour on the gun. Gets McCutcheon to go down swinging. And that's the end of the top of the first inning. We are scoreless. You'll be right back here for Pirates Baseball on WZKY. Welcome back to Pirates Baseball here in WZKY. Powered by Mike Seafood and Sports Bar, the best fish and the best music in the greater Pittsburgh area. The Cardinals lineup is as follows. Leading things off in right field, John Jay. Matt Carpenter in the second hole. In the three hole, Matt Holiday. Cleanup spot is Mike Adams. Audrey Perez, fifth. Oscar Devere is six, followed by Johnny Peralta, Mark Ellis, and rounding things out is Lance Lynn. And on the mound for the Buccos is the right-hander out of Cur Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic, is Edison Volquez, the right-hander. 31 years old, 2-0 in the season so far in four starts with a 1.8 ERA. Very solid season so far for the Dominican right-hander. Very surprising season as well, as he has come into this season as the fifth starter for this Buccos ball club. And digging in now for the Cardinals is the leadoff man, John Jay. Hitting 321 with four home runs, 15 RBIs, and four stolen bags in the season. The left-handed bat leading things off against the right-hander, Volquez. 1-2 count. Here comes the pitch, and that's popped up to the catcher, Russell Martin, behind the plate. And he puts it away for the first out of the bottom half of the first inning. And that's going to bring up the third base from Matt Carpenter. The kick. And the pitch from Volquez is grounded to the second baseman, Walker. Ranges to his left, fires the first. He had to go a bit to make that play, but he made the play, and that's two outs now in the bottom half of the first. 3-1 count here on Matt Holiday. The pitch from Volquez is grounded to shortstop, Nunez. Feels it takes his time, stops, fires, and that's caught for the final out of the bottom half of the first inning. We are still scoreless and hitless at the end of one. And we will be right back here for Pirates Baseball on WZKY. Welcome back to Pirates Baseball here at WZKY. We are here in the top of the third inning with no outs as Eduardo Nunez digs in to lead things off for the Buccos. The pinch from Lance Lynn is skied into center field and Oscar Tavares camped under that one. And he puts it away for the first out of the top of the third. That's going to bring up Franklin Gutierrez with one out now. Here comes the first pitch from Lynn at the at-bat. And that's going to be ripped into right field. The dive from John Jay gets past John Jay. That's going to head up against the wall. Gutierrez is going to head into second. And he wants three. And he is going to get three. 
As he thought about home, but he thinks better, and he holds up at third base. That's a triple for Franklin Gutierrez, the newly acquired free agent. That's going to be up the pitcher, Edison Volquez, to face the opposing pitcher, Lance Lynn. The pitch is grounded to third base, Matt Carpenter. Fires the first, but it's enough to score Franklin Gutierrez from third. And that's going to be the Buccos strike first. That's now a 1-0 score in favor of the Buccos. 2-2 count here on Sterling Marte with two outs in the inning. Here's the kick. And the pitch from Lance Lynn. That swung through the slider. He whips right through it and Sterling Marte goes down swinging. As Lance Lynn picks up a strikeout, but not before the Pirates take a 1-0 lead here at the at top of the third inning. We'll be right back here for Pirates Baseball on WZKY. Welcome back to Pirates Baseball here at BZKY. We're here at the top of the sixth inning. 2-2 count on the opposing pitcher, Edison Volquez. The pitch from Lynn is slapped into right field, and that's very shallow right field as the first baseman, Matt Adams, is there to make the play. And that's the first out of the sixth inning. That's going to be up the leadoff man, Sterling Marte. Count runs the 1-1 on him. Lance Lynn getting set. Here's the kick and the pitch, and that's... Popped up sky high to the shortstop. That doesn't even get to the out field. And Peralta's there to put it away for the out. As we've got two outs now in the inning, and that's going to be an 0-2 count now on Neil, the real deal walker. Lance Lynn, the kick. And the pitch, and that's slapped in the right field line, and it just barely lands fair, says the umpire. Neil Walker's going to head into second. There's going to be a play at the bag, and Neil Walker slides to avoid the tag. He gets in safely. Runner on second now, and that's going to bring up Andrew McCutcheon, who's 0 for 2 on the day with a strikeout and a flyout. 1-2 count on Kutch with Walker on second. Lynn looks him down. Here comes the pitch, and that's going to be fouled off. 1-2 count still. That was the fourth pitch of the bat. Fifth pitch of the bat upcoming now. Here comes the pitch, and it's given a ride into deep left field. Clear the deck, cannonball coming. Andrew McCutcheon, two-run shot. That's a 3-0 Buccos lead now. As they've blown this one wide open thanks to the bat of the superstar, Andrew McCutcheon. And now that's going to bring up the third baseman, Pedro Alvarez, El Toro. 2-2 count on El Toro. The pitch from Lynn is given a ride. That's a high fly ball in the right field. That's back to the track, and it's caught a step in front of the track by John Jay. That's the final out of the inning. Not before Andrew McCutcheon strikes for two and expands the lead to 3 nothing. We were right back here for Pirates Baseball on WZKY. Welcome back to Pirates Baseball here on WZKY. 3-0 count at the bottom of the six for Volquez, and there's ball four. That's going to be a walk for Johnny Peralta as Volquez puts the leadoff man on. Brings up Mark Ellis. The first pitch to Mark Ellis. Here it comes, and that's going to be slapped in the right field. And the Cardinals have got themselves two base runners now to lead off the bottom half of the sixth. Runners on first and second, and Johnny Peralta and Mark Ellis. As that's going to bring up a pinch hitter now for the pitcher Lance Lynn. It's going to be Peter Gorgeous Borges coming in to pinch hit. One two count on Peter Borges. The pitch from, Al from Volquez is granted to Alvarez at third. Fires the second, fires the first, and they double up the speedy Borges. And now they've got two outs with a man on third. No longer one out. 2-2 two, two count. Now on John Jay. The pitch is slapped in the left field. And that lands in for a base hit. Starling Marte fields it. Fires a second. John Jay holds up at first. But it's enough to put the Cardinals on the board for the first time in this ballgame. 3-1 is the score now. 0-1 oh, count. Pitch from Volquez is grounded. The second baseman, New Walker, ranges to his left. Fires on the throw. And Davis puts that away for the final out of the sixth inning. 3-1 is the score now in this ball game. Bucko's still in the lead, and we'll be right back here for Pirates Baseball here at WZKY. Welcome back to Pirates Baseball here at WZKY. We're here in the bottom half of the ninth inning as Trevor Plouffe's going to come into first base. Drake Davis as a defensive substitution, and Mark Melanson, the right-hander, the closer who's looking for his ninth save of the season. The 29-year-old right-hander at a Golden Colorado. Comes in to face John Jay in the bottom of the ninth, looking for the save. Full count. Here comes the pitch, and that's slapped into center field. That's going to get in the gap. That should be a double for the speedy John Jay, and it looks like it's going to be. It is. He slides in just before the throw gets there. And that's a leadoff double 
for John Jay here in the bottom half of the ninth. 2-1 count now on Matt Carpenter. The pitch from Melanson grounds at the second. The shortstop, Nunez, fires the first. And now that's one out here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Still a runner on second and John Jay as he was not able to move up the third. 1-1 one, one count here on Matt Holliday. The pitch from Melanson is ripped into the right center gap. That one's easily going to get against the wall as no one was even close to that one. John Jay is going to come around to score, and Matt Holliday has himself an RBI double, and the Cardinals are all of a sudden within one run in this ball game. It's now a score of 3-2, to two, and the Buccos are going to bring in Jean-Marc Gomez, the right-hander from Caracas, Venezuela, the 26-year-old, who's had nine appearances, 2-0 in this season with a 2.19 ERA in 12 innings pitched and 12 strikeouts, only allowing five walks. He's had a solid season coming out of the bullpen for the Pirates. 0-1 count. On Matt Adams is grounded to the third baseman, Alvarez. Runner holds up at second. He fires the first, and that's put away. Two outs now in the inning as the Buccos are now one out away from securing another win as Tony Cruz is going to come in to pinch hit for the Buc for the Cardinals to face John Mar Gomez. 0-2 count on Cruz. The kick and the pitch from Gomez is swung through the 93 high cheese. On the gun, Edison Volquez gets the win. Raise the Jolly Roger. The Buccos improved to 16-9 of the season after winning the game 3-2 in large part to the strong outing from Edison Volquez and in large part also to the bat of Andrew McCutcheon. Take things down to the field for our tops player of the game, Edison Volquez. Six innings pitched, only giving up two hits, one run, and four Ks in the day. A very nice outing to improve to 3-0 on the season for the 31-year-old Edison Volquez. And with that being said, that'll wrap things up here at Bush Stadium for this ball game. Don't forget to tune in next time here at WZKY for the next edition of Pirates Baseball.